David Spence from launchflows.com. You know, one of the things that I do almost every day when I am talking to people over at WP Launchify is to help them understand the basic process of onboarding people through a lead magnet to their WordPress business site. Now, for many people, they actually are interacting with cold leads and they don't need to bring the people right away into the WordPress site. So for those folks, we actually tell them that they should send the people over to their CRM directly while still taking advantage of the tagging and the other fields that we can share through marketing automation. For some people, however, they're dealing with what we'll call prospects. These are people with whom they have a little bit better relationship and have a sense that they are likely to become customers. For those people, a decision can be made at that stage with the lead magnet to actually onboard the people into the WordPress site. In this video, I want to give you a sense of what we do at LaunchFlows. One of the key components is that we provide a roadmap, just like I'm going to talk about here, along with the same kind of strategies and informational content that we're going to discuss today, along with the other things that you would need to actually implement this kind of thing on your WordPress business site. So in addition to this kind of roadmap and the strategy video, you would also get a wireframe that shows all the various component pages. And finally, you would get an actual ready to use layout that you could use in either Divi or Elementor. Either way, you'll understand the who, what, when, where, and why of how to do things with your WordPress site using the best in class components available in the WordPress ecosystem. Let's dig in so you get a sense of how you can use this strategy today. You're going to have some kind of traffic. This could be organic. It could be paid traffic. It could come from one of your social network contacts. These are people that you believe are interested in your product and likewise have clicked through to come to your website in order to see a lead magnet registration form. Now, if you don't know what a lead magnet is, it's basically an offer where you're giving something valuable almost always for free in exchange for somebody's email. This allows you to essentially add them to your database of your CRM so that you can either sell them immediately or follow up with educating them more so that they'll be likely to buy in the future. It's a really valuable strategy that is pretty timeless. Almost everybody, even today, continue to be attracted to and respond to lead magnets. Typically a video or something in the form of a PDF that will educate people as to what you do or how you can help them is a great lead magnet. Now, at this stage, we wanna make a choice based upon your judgment of whether the people who are gonna come to your lead magnet page are cold leads or there may be prospects. Now, either way is fine. And even if you choose one or the other right now, it's not a problem. We can always remedy it later by bringing people from the CRM over to the WordPress and register them. Or we can actually take people who have registered and not acting and clean them out. It's all good. But just make some determination initially which of these strategies make sense for the kind of traffic you're sending. Let's first talk about cold leads. In this case, using your particular page builder, such as Divi or Elementor, or a third-party form builder, or even the forms that come through your CRM, all we're going to do here is put onto a page the actual form that allows you to get the first name, maybe the last name if you think that's important, and an email. So you really need to have the email and probably the first name so you can personalize it. It's optional to use the last name. In this particular case, you've done this a million times before, even in the old days of just a typical email product. You're going to ask the person in exchange for sending them the actual lead magnet, would they please give you their first name and email? And when they do that, that's going to then pass them through directly to the rest of our marketing automation process. So you'll still get the great advantage of being able to keep track of who's done what and use that later with tags and custom fields. But you'll be saving a lot of time and effort because these people who are just cold leads will not be registered and logged into your WordPress site. Now, on the other side of things, if you believe these are sort of warm prospects, people who've raised their hand in some way and said, I'm really probably interested in your product already. Well, then you have two really good choices. Using either WooCommerce as a transaction to check out or using Gravity Forms with the user registration add-up. Either way is a good choice. And although it does add a couple seconds to the typical time it would take for a normal form, it's well worth it because in the process, a couple extra steps are gonna happen. First of all, the person is going to be quietly 
silently and easily registered and logged into your WordPress site, which will then allow you to immediately begin to measure and track and record everything they do on your site with WP Fusion by way of tags. And this is super important because it'll really allow you to improve your marketing game and convert more people later when you can see exactly what they're doing, what they're interested in, and personalize their journey. When you choose to go the WooCommerce route, effectively what you're doing is just a free product checkout. So technically, even though they're filling out a form, all they're really doing is making a product purchase. And in doing so, it is true that you can remove all the extraneous fields very easily, either with a plugin for WooCommerce or using cart flows, which is a product that allows you to actually personalize this journey for each and every lead magnet or other product you have. Whichever of those two choices you go with, we're going to hide or remove all of the fields except for first name, maybe last name, and the email. And since it's a free checkout, there will be no need for the person to add a credit card or PayPal or anything else. So it's actually really fast and they register at the time of this free transaction. At the time that they're done with the transaction, it will actually do the sort of double benefit of logging them into the site where they'll end up, as you'll see, at the My Account area, ready to consume whatever it is that you've offered them. On the other hand, if you choose to not use WooCommerce for this purpose, and there's some reasons why you might not, then you can go to the Gravity Forms with the Gravity Forms user registration add-on. Here, this product allows you to essentially take in the first name, maybe last name, and the email, and in the process of transmitting that all the way through WP Fusion up to your CRM, it makes a stopover and actually takes care of registering the person as a user on your WordPress site. And in doing so, it will send out emails. So on this route from Gravity Forms to WordPress, it will actually take care of sending the login credentials to the person. Likewise, if they go the WooCommerce route, it will stop off and send them a nice little receipt if you choose to, or you can optionally turn that off that says, hey, by the way, you've just actually purchased this free thing. And it will also send the login credentials. This login credentials allows somebody who maybe leaves their computer and comes back later or goes home to another machine to actually get back into your site to consume whatever it is that you wanted to give to them. It's important to note, though, it really makes no difference with your lead magnet delivery as to whether they're logged in, because we're not going to put that lead magnet content on a protected page under most circumstances. Most of the time, what we're going to do is just make it public view. We're just going to hide or obfuscate, that's my $5 word, the content and the URL from search so that somebody wouldn't easily figure it out unless or until they've actually gone there themselves. And then of course they could share it if they tried to do that or wanted to, but who cares? It's something that you're using for free to try to lure more people. And if somebody thought enough to share it with their friends, good on you. Now you've got two interested people instead of one. So either way, when you're done and the people have been registered and if they've logged in, they will be sent through WP Fusion where a tag will be applied that will represent the fact that they've been through that process. Now, this could be important down the road for your marketing automation because it will help you understand which people onboarded through which lead magnet form or forms. You might have multiple types of lead magnets or multiple types of ways of getting people in by sending them through a different circuit. By using a unique tag, it's very easy later on to segment those people into various things called cohorts or groups so that you can selectively respond to them in the future. So WP Fusion does the heavy lifting to make sure that this process will add a tag both locally on the WordPress side and then synchronize it to your favorite CRM, Active Campaign, Drip, Entreport, MailChimp, and so forth. And then in the process of doing so, you could, if you want, trigger an optional follow-up email from the CRM to, for example, try to sell people a paid offer if they don't otherwise respond in the next step we're going to talk about. But the fact is that you'll have the tags identifying that somebody is there and you'll also be able to know whether or not they've actually finished the process by any other tags you've added. All right. So now that somebody has come through and they have registered and logged in, they're taken to the delivery page. That's where, for example, they will get the video with the training or the PDF with the training or whatever else is valuable with the training.
And we'll show you in the actual layouts, the wireframes that go along with this lesson, that you will get a paid product offer somewhere on that page. So somebody who is there for free is going to get all the valuable content, but what you wanna make sure is that on that page, you also make it clear that this is an exemplary way to consume the thing that you are offering for paid if they join your main site or if they buy the product or if they elect to pay you for your service. It's sort of like the lead magnet is a taste of the larger thing, so why not buy now? And you can make that offer attractive. We'll discuss various types of offers and the layouts that go with them in other funnels. Now, right now, we've got a situation where if they say yes to it, they will be taken to the checkout. And this is definitely where WooCommerce and Cartflows work together because they will allow you to customize this checkout specific to any particular product. So you can have a unique checkout and a specific type of a user experience just for this lead magnet that's different than anything else that you're offering. You can also make the optional order bump at this time. Now, an order bump is essentially an accessory to a popular purchase. It's not something that increases the sale by selling something else, but rather it's an accessory, such as if you sold somebody an electronic item, maybe it's including the batteries or a carrying case or insurance that goes along with it. It's not something that changes the nature of the main product, but rather improves it or adds to it a little. And it's not something that actually converts very well, typically in the three to 4% range. So don't look at this as a great strategy, but if it is a helpful uh, accessory, definitely worth adding that in. And that can be done via cart flows, very simply. Now, once they come through this, they will then be given, if you wish, an upsell offer. And the upsell offer, again, very easy with cart flows and WooCommerce allows you to then allow the person actually give their payment method, such as credit card or PayPal, finish apparently the transaction with one click, but then before they go, it gives them a brand new display of a second uh, of an additional step that says, by the way, before you go, you probably want to buy this as well. And that is an additional transaction for more money so that your total sale is greater but that it actually doesn't require them to fill in any other information. They simply say, yes, I'd like that, or no, I don't. So it kind of falls into that same mentality of an impulse buy that you might get when you're at the supermarket checkout. Do you want the candy bar? Do you want the People magazine? Do you need those AAA batteries? Because you're almost out of the line, you can see their car, your car in the parking lot, and it's really hard to say no, if especially you have kids with you saying, I want it, I want it. So an upsell can be a great way to improve the total value you receive at each checkout. And when you do so, each of these steps can go through WP Fusion and add a specific tag for any of the things that were purchased. Both the main product, that was again, sort of the, the thing you sold them after the lead magnet, as well as anything in the upsell offer. I didn't talk about it here, but there's also an option if they chose not to take the upsell, you could send them to a consolation prize called a downsell, which is less money than the upsell, but maybe something that you find is interesting. In most cases, I say don't actually try to be too clever all at once because people get annoyed. So perhaps wait for another type of a main offer. And if they don't say yes to that, then try a downsell. In any event, once they're done with the upsell offer step, in card flows, the next thing will be to take them to a thank you page where the layout will be indicative of here's what you bought, here's what you paid, and by the way, you've got other things you can now do, such as consume the main product, the membership, and so forth. At the time that they are sent to the thank you page, that will also be a an emailed purchase receipt. So they'll be able to see it on the screen. They'll also be getting a receipt sent to them through WooCommerce. I wanna note that if you have sent somebody this upsell offer and they said, no thanks, the fact that they have or do not have the particular tag of the upsell product will be registered and stored both locally on WordPress as well as on your favorite CRM. So just like as with the lead magnet, you can decide later if somebody has not purchased that upsell before, maybe you'll give them a last chance follow-up email by way of connecting your CRM to WordPress with WP Fusion. And that is something that's very common and actually very successful. Hey, I know you missed out on this offer, but how about a 25% discount if you buy it right now? 
And by sending that to somebody concurrent, you know, maybe within the next day or two days of the choice not to take the upsell, it might still be on their mind and they might decide to reconsider, giving you a chance to recoup a lot of that money. Now, this is also true that you can use the tags as well as the abandoned cart features available through either WP Fusion or available through cart flows to allow you to follow up with somebody and say, hey, by the way, we saw that you were about to check out on the upsell and so forth, but you didn't. Would you like another chance and maybe a discount? Either way, these are the things that are really powerful that make it really important in today's world for you to use marketing automation, as well as all these other components, including cart flows, WooCommerce, and so forth, to manage your onboarding sequence and your checkout. When somebody is done with a thank you page, the next step would be a link on the thank you page that allows them to immediately send themselves to your WooCommerce My Account area. That is where they will have a dashboard that gives them access to everything that is important, whether it's protected pages themselves or learning management system content that is also protected or other types of billboard notices about what's the next thing they should do. I'm going to cover what's going to happen in your My Account area in another video for one of our other launch flows. I hope that this video has given you a taste of what our roadmaps are like, and I'm going to have another video to follow up to show you what goes along with this inside of our Launch Flows membership area. We give you access to every kind of strategy step by step like this, including the tools to use, how, where, when, why, and so forth, so that you understand how to bolt together the thing that you need for your WordPress solution or for your clients. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.